Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com and I'm going to do a quick walk around here of the 2016 Kia Optima. Um, looking at it, you may think it's the same car as the 15, but they've actually significantly updated it for the new model year. Uh, it's longer, it's wider, it's got more backseat legroom now than it did previously, and it's got a kind of more aggressive looking snarly front end with available, I don't think this car has it, but it has available tracking headlights that move with you in the curve. Um, this car is basically the same as the Hyundai Sonata, but uh, it's marketed as uh, a sort of more upscale and sporty version of that car, which it is, you know, to my eye, if you look at it, uh, it's a really impressive looking car. It looks more like a, an entry luxury car. Um, and they have sold a bunch of these things for that reason. Um, just to kind of give you a, uh, a reference, um, over here is a Volkswagen Passat, which I like a lot, very solid, good car, but the Passat looks like what it is, which is um, a mid-priced, modestly priced, mid-sized sedan, uh, similar to a Camry or an Accord. You look at this thing and it looks a lot more impressive. Um, interestingly, uh, some of the differences about this car relative to some of the others in the class. A uh, Hyundai slash Kia has gone all in with four-cylinder engines, uh, of which there are three options um, in this car and also the Sonata. And that's kind of a counterpoint to the typical um, base or standard issue four-cylinder engine with an upgrade to a V6, as in the Camry or the Accord. Um, and the reason for that, of course, has to do with our good friend Uncle, who continues to ratchet up the federal fuel economy standards such that it is becoming almost impossible uh, to comply with the federal fuel economy standards with the V6. Um, the fours that are available in cars like this, if you look at the stats, they don't get spectacularly better gas mileage than the sixes. In this case, for example, the, um, um, the four-cylinder end gets about, I don't know, two or three miles per gallon uh, better than the, uh, the equivalent V6. Um, in the competition, so it's really not that big a deal on a per car or individual owner basis. Uh, however, um, it matters when you factor it out over the entire fleet um, of a given manufacturer's products, and that's how they calculate CAFE. It's called uh, Corporate Average Fuel Economy. So what they do is they average the entire fleet of a given automaker, and that's how they calculate the number. And so if you're talking about, say, a, a three mile per gallon difference, um, for an individual car, if you factor that out over, say, 200,000 cars, um, it matters. And so that's why the six-cylinder engines are going away. Um, to get back to this car, uh, like the Sonata, uh, you can now get this with a very small, for the size of the car, 1.6-liter turbocharged 4. Um, and Kia, like uh, Hyundai, they're both the same company. Um, markets that engine as, as the economy choice, which it is. It can get almost 40 miles per gallon on the highway, which is class best. Um, whereas the uh, slightly larger 2-liter turbo engine um, is marketed as the performance engine. But if you really get into the stats, um, or the actual performance numbers, um, you'll find that the 1.6-liter uh, the engine actually performs nearly as well as the 2-liter engine. It's not that big a difference. It's about a one-second uh, difference. Um, zero to 60, um, but the mileage difference is significant. So if you're considering one of these cars, either the Optima or the Sonata, you might want to test drive that 1.6 liter engine back-to-back um, -back with the 2.0 liter engine. You might find that um, it's the better choice. Personally, it's probably the one I'd choose. Um, I mean, given it, that they're both turbo engines and you, you know, have the potential issue of uh, repairs and so on associated with those turbos potentially, you know, 10 or 12 years from now. Um, why not go with the one that gets nearly 40 miles per gallon and performs nearly as well? That would be my inclination. Um, anyway, uh, there will be more up at epautos.com shortly. I've also got a piece up about uh, the lobby for repair shops pushing for uh, nationwide 50 state um, inspections. Uh, of cars, vehicle inspections. Some states have them, many states don't. Um, the argument is made that uh, it, it will improve the safety uh, of the roads and of cars and so on, but that's not been proved. It's been merely asserted. There's no evidence that those safety inspections actually decrease uh, 
accidents due to things like equipment failure, uh, bad brakes, and so on. Um, so anyway, that's up on site, and also my two most recent interviews uh, last Friday with Inside Radio, Inside Track Radio, uh, in Arizona, and prior to that on the Brian Hyde Show. Anyway, so those are all up on site. We thank you for viewing, and we will catch up with you next time.